the midget, of course, made a vow that he would never call in here again and be on the show. I have missed him as a result. Well, it's weird. I think he's now leaving multiple <laughs> voicemails again with to Will. To us? To, well, you know, he calls Will, and he keeps <laughs> insisting that these voicemails have nothing to do with that, that he is not going to call into the show. But I think these But why is he calling Will? Because he wants our voicemails to be played on the air. Say, oh, uh, he doesn't want to appear in person, right? But I think this is him Jones and to get back on the show. Obviously, what does he want? What is what is what he's is arguing voice? me about country music because I must have said on the air that country artists are secondary, you know, and that they're first of all, their songs are horrible. Country songs for the most, I mean, there's a you know, Willie you Nelson. said that's the place you can still make money in music, yeah. Will, Willie Nelson's an exception, you know, there are there are people who are in the country genre who are great, but for the most part. When you hear like you know like Lady Antebellum and all these groups, I, I don't mean to single them out. I, I really don't even know their music, but it, yeah, actually, it, they used one of their songs on uh, The Voice this past week, and it was good. Yeah, I, I know. I, I, that's what I was thinking. But for the most part, a lot of them are very mediocre, and I don't think they could have a musical career if there wasn't such a thing as country music. It's a very, very odd genre of music. <laughs> so Eric heard me talking about this, and you know he loves country music, and he wants to defend it. But instead of keeping his mouth shut and saying, hey, I don't do that show anymore, he calls our voice message. So he still wants to have a voice. Right. So He so, just doesn't want to do it live and in person. Right. So it, this is no different than calling in. Before I start my rant about what you said, Howard, on May 26th, your last <laughs> show... Before your Memorial Week break. By the way, it's Memorial Day, not Memorial Week. Hey, I choose to celebrate. By the way, speaking of Memorial Week, because, because every day is Memorial Day for me. I thank those guys every day for serving, and I do. I literally say a prayer for those troops who are serving in the Who are you praying to? I just say, I just hope those guys will be safe. Okay. That's it. I, 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 I do that, and I do a prayer to my feet. Huh? Well, if you didn't have your feet, you couldn't walk anywhere. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to Eric the Midget, who I claim is still calling into the show because he's calling in in a different way. That's all. Okay, here it goes. This is in no way an indication of me starting to call back to the show. This message and any other message that follows after it today is not indication that I'm coming back. You are back, genius. And by the way, this message was one of one, two, three, four, five, of six messages from Eric that day. Six long messages from Eric the Midget. Calling the show. With that said, now let me get on to what you said. You said that you think that country singers have mediocre voices. Okay, yes, everybody is entitled to their own opinion about anything and everything. <laughs> but let me just say, your opinion is ignorant. Country singers do not have mediocre voices. Sorry to inform you of that and burst your bubble. Look what got him to call in. What a dumb topic. Is he boring or what? It's so great. But can you imagine him sitting at home? <clears throat> he's reacting to the radio. The radio but Seething. he can't call in. So right. now he's got to wait till later in the day, call the yeah. voicemail, and and Argue calmly <laughs> tell you his objections. Yeah. Hey, guys, you just wiped me out on the... Uh... The Kevin Bacon HBO movie is called Taking Chance, right. as a matter of fact. I had my uh, Eric the Midget message in pause, and then the, it all of a sudden flashed on the computer and went back to the beginning without me touching it. Hmm. Well, too bad. And it's gone? They can't put that There, on. I have to... Well, here's... I mean, there's six messages. I don't know how many of these you want to hear from Well, him. let's see what else was on his mind. All right. Well, I think it's all country music. It's just constant... Oh, so this really bothered him yeah. to the point that he kept calling back to yeah. say, and another thing. Not only is country music a trolling idiot... Oh, I see. Maybe it was one call, but six minutes long, and they broke it down into six clips. You're kidding. Yeah, because it just goes on and on and on. I don't know which it is. Six different messages. Oh, it's six different ones. Jeez. All right, here's message two. Not only 
Ali is country music controlling 88% of all <clears throat> music sales. What shows you how dumb that is. But you said that's the only area in the music business you can make money. Yeah, because they're so idiotic, they don't know they can download their shit for free. <laughs> <laughs> These country fans. For all genres. Genres. <laughs> this fact, too. Ticket sales for concerts. I can tell he's itchy to get back on the air because now he started calling the Spice Radio channel here oh, on really? Sirius. Yeah. I guess we must have given him a free subscription. Of course we did. I remember. Because yeah. he seems to spend a lot of time. And now, I guess on Spice Radio, they have those different porn stars that he's in love with. Yeah. So they gave a chick to... Um, I don't know what her name is. What's that chick's name on Spice Radio? Sunny Lane. Sunny Lane. Eric's in love with Sunny Lane. Uh huh. So he heard her on there and he started calling into her. So you can tell he's gearing up. He wants to call into shows. <laughs> and if you want to hear, this is a six minute call to Sunny Lane from Eric the Midget. If you want to be bored to fucking tears, you, this reminded me of how bad a radio caller he is, <laughs> which is why I love him. I mean, this is a lesson in, in, I mean, this is unbelievable. All the things you shouldn't do? Yeah, I mean, Sunny Lane, if she, had, if she was a radio person at all, she would have hung up on him within three seconds. <laughs> she goes into this long discussion with Eric the Midget, but you can tell he is just dying to get back on the air. All right, Eric, how are you doing? You got a question for me? Hey, Sunny, this is Eric. You know how it always takes Eric time. Right, it's like he's <laughs> off satellite or something. I would have hung up already just <laughs> waiting for him. Hi, how you been? Good. You know, you and I met at the Bunny Ranch a couple of years ago. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. totally. The Bunny Ranch she ended up at because of me. But, you know, she's been through like 500 men. Yeah, and he <laughs> thinks like, point. remember oh. me? Well, he's hard to forget. <laughs> but, but, I mean, just by his voice, are yeah. you remembering yeah. him? You remember me. <laughs> I don't know how many guys you serviced at the Bunny Ranch. But... I met you at the Bunny Ranch where you were, like, <laughs> taking numbers. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the guy with the blue eyes. No, <laughs> you're the guy in the wheelchair. Hey, how you been, Eric? I've been good. How are you? I've been doing super good, staying busy, making movies. <laughs> you know movies. me, making things happen. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, um, my question. Okay. <laughs> Never mind that. Let's get down to the question. What a great conversation. Oh, I mean, it's, uh, it gets better. There was, you know, I noticed that there are these adult expos in different cities like L.A., Miami, New York. I was wondering why there isn't one of those expos in San Francisco. <laughs> Eric has a way of asking questions that nobody's interested yeah. in. I noticed there are adult expos in, and he listens to You know cities. what I was thinking about? <laughs> he wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> Is he thinking about that? So what does he want to know? Why there isn't an it adult? One in San Francisco. An adult Near expo. him. <laughs> Don't you know I'm in San Francisco? Well, you know, there used to be oh, some. In San there's an answer for this. <laughs> what did you just go, listen, Eric, nobody cares. Look, I don't run the expos. Yeah, I'm just some girl. I work at the fucking Bunny Ranch. <laughs> I'm I... lucky to get a table there where I can sign autographs and put my leg up with no clothes. No, on. I blow guys on film, and you're asking me about the marketing of the adult porn industry. San Francisco, and they used to hold it at the uh, cow pasture there, <laughs> the cow palace, and it was yeah, always... I guess a lot of the chicks didn't resent being called cows. <laughs> so much fun, and then, I guess, they did some bad business with some people in the industry, so they shut down that show. Um, but yeah, hmm. I mean, San wow. Francisco used to be the spot. She, she apparently does know something about this. This is very detailed, this answer. So, from what I understand, there was an adult expo in the cow pasture in San Francisco. <laughs> the cow palace. Which is maybe the worst, yeah, the name for, <laughs> for young women to be at. Even. Oh, I'm going to be at the cow palace for yeah. the. Adult Industry Expo? That invokes more jokes than having the last name Wiener <laughs> and being caught with your cock out on the internet. <laughs> Why do you need a cow palace? I thought everybody used to shoot porn before it came to L.A. Mm. So yeah. they shot porn in the cow palace. Oh, Eric likes that. I, I just thought, of, you know, I, I was hoping that there would be, you know, an adult expo in San Francisco so, you know, I could go check it out where I don't have to go all the way down to L.A. or Vegas or <laughs> wherever Better. else. She has to go all the way to Vegas or L.A. to. Well, she just told you why there isn't one. Well, he doesn't want to hear it. <laughs> He's not, you know. Can't they find another venue besides Cow Palace? But 
they did bad business. Nobody wants to do business with them Yeah, but anymore. I'm saying, isn't there someone who can do good business? <laughs> I mean, it, it's a He's going to argue with her until he, she says, okay, uh, we're going to put one in San Francisco. Not to belabor the point, Sonny <laughs> Lane, but, uh, but really, uh, <laughs> yeah, he won't give up on this. I cannot travel. <laughs> Able to go see one of those. Right, absolutely. Um, and she gave up. Okay, Erica, we'll we'll get one in San Francisco for you. You know, I know that they don't have any plans to do it right now in San Francisco. And she's thrilled because some guy's calling her, not asking her to you know whip her tits out on Obviously, the radio. Obviously, the phone line isn't blinking. Right. Oh, if I hear of anything, I'll let you know. You think Eric's the only caller to the show? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You want more of the call? I'm I'm loving. It. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for his next question. Oh, yeah, he keeps this thing going. How does he keep this going? Well, it's fascinating. Because <laughs> uh, we've always stayed in contact. I know what's wrong with him. What's wrong with her that she stays on the line with him? Because uh, we've always stayed in contact. I always love you, Eric the Midget. You're always rocking it and popping it the right way. What's sure new in your is. world? Oh, not much. I stopped calling the Howards during the show and... My Those whole life dried up. <laughs> what's new in your world? He stopped calling our show a year ago. <laughs> Is that what's new in his world? All right, stop calling. From calling there because, you know, one of the reasons why is that nickname I don't like. And, uh, ah. you know, this, the fans of the show were just too verbally abusive towards <laughs> me. And I just got tired of dealing with that for the last eight years yeah yeah i i have to apologize that one time they had me come on and uh rich wanted me to say some things i wasn't cool about but uh I... what's that all about but she just called him the nickname he hates yeah i think she addresses <laughs> that later on oh good i can't wait two rocket scientists <laughs> what did we do to her i don't even did we ever have her on the show she was here i guess one of those times she was with eric maybe oh and we wanted her to say something? She wasn't comfortable? Rich, whoever Rich is. Who's Rich? Some guy from the Bunny Ranch, I guess. Oh, I thought it was one of our guys. No, I don't think so. Rich wanted me to say some things I wasn't comfortable with. Yeah, you know, we wanted Eric to come in, and they were supposed to tell us all about their date or whatever. And Eric then wanted to be... Oh, you mean he's bang Sandy? I think she might have been one of the people who entertained him there. Oh, Gary, is that, any of that ring true to you, or is Robin making that up? Lynn was telling me that Sonny Lane's never been on the show. Oh. Really? But, but Jason says he's got something in the notes, so we're trying to, we're trying to work it out here. No. I think you just made that up. No, no, no. Well, I know some girls were here. I don't remember their names. Yeah, it wasn't Sonny Lane. Sonny Lane has not been on the show. Yeah. She didn't have the pleasure of fucking uh, Eric. Oh, the poor thing. But what did, uh, I want to know what it is we forced her to say. But why? Do, how does she know Eric then? Uh, she knows of him. I guess she was at the Bunny Ranch at the same time he was down there, or something. I I don't know. <laughs> this is Eric's world. This is what I'm talking about. How does anyone put this on the radio? Maybe satellite radio should be banned. It's too much. It's, it's awful. It yeah. gives everyone an opportunity to be on the air. Or she shouldn't have a show. <laughs> <laughs> this shouldn't be on the air. I would have to say, you know. Let's get back to my first topic. Why are there not more adult expos in San Francisco? <laughs> and as a follow-up, what do you think of the new 925 area code in San Francisco? <laughs> well, Eric, I'm glad you asked that. All right, so what are they talking about? They, Eric um, isn't doing the Howard Stern show anymore, and she was uncomfortable. She was uncomfortable because Rich made her say some things she didn't want to say when she was on. She doesn't explain who Rich is. Oh, um, yeah, it's crazy, it's fucked up, but you are a good person, and, you know, those people are missing out on a good person. And How does she know he's a good person? And that's their law. She's a fan. He's a fan of hers. Oh. Yep. That's yeah. right. Yeah, you're welcome. You're, you're a good man. You're positive. You love to... How does she know that? He's the last he's thing the he's most positive. negative human <laughs> being. I'm just waiting for her to go, can I fuck you? <laughs> Have a good time, and you're you're such a doll. Thank you. When are, when are you going to be at the ranches again? <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? You're not going to be there. You're such a doll. 
Well, um, I have planned to go out there this month, June. When are you going to be at the ranch? Which is a nice way of saying, when are you going to fuck some Yeah, when are you going to be uh, fucking for pay again? When are you going to fuck me? <laughs> and um, the next few months I have some... Oh, that's just so sad. When are you going to be at the ranch again? You know what that means. Maybe I can get you. <laughs> Movies that are starting to conflict with my dates, so uh, I'm not really sure. So she's booked in for a couple of pornos, so she might not be able to get out to the bunny ranch. Right. Hmm. Fascinating conversation. Uh, uh, she's not raring to get back out there. <laughs> you mean you're not raring to get out there to fuck a bunch of gross guys who you can't stand and you have to wash yourself off after you fuck them? Oh, that's perfectly understandable. Well, I I sent you a private message on the message board with my cell number so you know you have my numbers to hmm. keep me updated oh cool you can always just email me at sunnylanelive.com if any- <laughs> <laughs> so, honey i won't be calling you you mean you don't think she'll be calling eric to keep him updated <laughs> just go on my website like all the others <laughs> uh, yeah because maybe i'll date you exclusively for a whole tuesday <laughs> What? We were trying to get her to come on the show yeah, because she's managed by her parents, and we wanted her and her parents to come oh, out together. Oh, okay. That, that so can... who's Rick who wanted her to We stay? think it's a guy that works at the Bunny Ranch. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, we had nothing to do with that. I, I don't know what they're talking about. If anybody ever wants to get a hold of me directly, just email me at sunnylanelive.com. Okay. That's the place to get me. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure yeah. you will. Then it comes directly to, her, to me. And yeah, not like it. you calling him on the phone. Yeah. Not so direct. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she's going to pick up the phone and call you, Eric, to, have to update you. I miss Eric. It's more direct if you email her. Anyway, the conversation continues. And oh, I'm, I can, you know me. I love Eric. I think Eric hardly responds. At some point, he just fades on these conversations. <laughs> wait, wait. So are you joining the new Spice Radio? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, you like it, huh? It's dirty. Very dirty. It's very dirty. Love it. <laughs> That's a good thing. Well, I'm glad you called in, Eric. Thank you. <laughs> you know, this is like JD talking to his mom. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of silent spots. <laughs> She's like, Yeah, you love it. It's dirty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very dirty. <laughs> So now he's leaving us. Well, I, I, like I said, there's six long-winded <laughs> voicemails about country music and why it's good. A lecture. A lecture on country music. <laughs> I mean, it's just endless. I, I listen to them during the commercials, and I sit and debate whether to play them or not because they are very long-winded. And I love them, but I know a lot of fans are like, please don't play that stuff. It's, I know. It's boring. But everybody must be missing Eric by this point. Come on. Insulting country music seems like that you forget one thing. You have fans in the country music business. So what? And you're also fan, a fan of some singers that have... What am I, Lady Gaga, come. and I have to, like, please all my fans? I don't give a fuck if I have country music fans. Tell them to turn off if they can't handle it. What am I going to do? Beg them to listen? Eric's really warped. But you have to remember, he's telling you how to do radio. Yeah, you have to remember, <laughs> you have fans who love country. Yeah, if I worried about that, I wouldn't offend anybody. <laughs> what do I care? If I have fans who love country music, God bless them. The genre of music that they started out in, into country music. The name's Jewel. The, fu- the funny thing is that we love to just, like, play these. In the office, they just play them. And everyone yeah, goes numb. Yeah. No, one, no one even hears what he's saying. It's like <laughs> people are walking around. They're talking while he's talking. They're just playing in the background because everyone feels obligated to listen to these in case there's a gem. And there's no gem in there. Just drones on and on and on. Ring a bell with you and also Cheryl Crow. Both of them have joined the ranks of the country music artists. Both of them have put out... Yeah, you notice their biggest hits were as pop singers. Right, and we don't know what they're doing as country right. artists. we don't care. Three CDs, or at least country songs. Also, Darius Rucker, the lead singer of Hootie and the Blowfish. Yeah, that was a good move. <laughs> <laughs> but this goes... So that's message... We're, we're just in the middle of message three. There's uh-huh. four, five, and six. <laughs> so, another thing that you said... That you 
when you picture country artists or country fans, you picture people hats that want to make any colored person that they see. How is that an accurate thing? <laughs> this is so sad. Yeah. Because he's arguing with the radio. Yeah. Oh. So my my basic assumption is that Eric is calling the show. But this is like what you're doing to him. You He can only listen to you on the radio and you can't hear him responding. Right. And you can't respond to him directly. And so when he calls in his arguments, you can't talk back to him. Right. But I am talking back to him. <laughs> but this is what he does at home. Right. Well, I guess I should break. Yeah, I got to break. I wanted to play you. Wolfie's been up to like a ton of things. Including He's been very busy. And Sal and Richard went over to the Lady Gaga concert and started talking to some of those dudes. The little monsters? Oh, my God. Those fucking people are out of their mind. <laughs> I mean, I didn't realize how loyal everyone is to Lady Gaga. She has 10 million Twitter followers. Yeah. Well, she, so Gary called me about that and said oh, yeah? that Lady Gaga... Um, was supposed to come in June 8th or something, but uh -huh. they they postponed it again. And I said, Gary, she's never coming. She's not coming. And then we, to add insult to, no, he said, no, she rescheduled for July. And I said, <laughs> okay, I'll wait for her. But then Gail King, she's coming to do. And so she's going to be right here. Right. I said, don't you get that they're blowing us off? So we have a $500 bet. I already bet Gary. I said, Gary's going to give me $500 in July. <laughs> I think you're going to give it to me. I really do. Okay. Why, hey. What makes you so sure? Because we've still been talking, and they're picking the date, and we were talking about getting her on, you know, from months ago, and I just think that, you know, the Gail King thing, I think Gail knows her, and that's how that came about. I think it's going to happen. I know her, too. So we're going to be the very last people by the time we who get ever her, talk to her? By the time we get her, she won't even be interested. Jimmy Fallon's not getting her. Kona's not getting her. Letterman's not getting well, her. Not yet. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, the Gail King, first of all, did you tell them that Gail King has zero listeners on Sirius? I wrote that exact word. I mean, I, I, just said, I, mean, I just said, she doesn't I mean, have 1% of what we have. 1%? 1% so would be, con I don't think Gail King has three listeners oh, to that show. Stop. I'm being fucking serious. Yeah, she surely knows more than three people. Her friends listen. No, in fact, Scott Greenstein's <laughs> negotiating a, a, to give her more money. The, as much money as they can throw at her. For three listeners. Well, you got to satisfy the public. What's uh, what's the deal you owe? I mean... Uh, just because they keep calling you, you think it's going to happen? I just... I, you know what? It's not that important to me. I just thought it was kind of interesting that we've been canceled twice and she's done every yeah, single show. Yeah, she comes into town okay. and she can talk right. to everybody but us. All right. I, I could be wrong. I could be a complete fool. But they, you know, they stayed I in think touch we're with more me. in line with her than Gail King. I agree. They stayed in touch with me. Gail and Oprah going to, like, uh, get her? I mean, no. But I want to answer well, Robin. Well, she did uh, appear on Oprah's farewell show. Well, of course. Everyone did. Except me. <laughs> the I management know. people have been staying in touch with me, and we've been still talking about dates. So I really, you get a vibe sometimes. Like, listen, I had Larry King booked this week, right? Then he yeah. got unbooked. <laughs> then they just stopped Gary, talking. Gary, Gary calls we me. Can't get Larry Gary calls me and goes, hey, something really kind of cool happened. Larry King's coming on the show. I go, oh, great. Okay, good. I said, Gary, you know he's going to cancel. He goes, oh, no, both. This isn't concrete. <laughs> so I said, no, I'm going to put your head in concrete. He's not coming in here. So then he wrote me a, an email, and he said to me, Howard, you really do know your stuff. He, he, he canceled. And I showed Howard the note today. They sent the books last week, and they go, this is to confirm Larry will be there Wednesday morning. <laughs> yeah, well, they hadn't checked with Larry yet. Clearly. Larry, clearly. Larry's all freaked out by me. I don't know why. Oh, because you're going gonna... to ask him everything? Yeah. Here, Lady Gaga will be up here tomorrow at 1 p.m. with a live studio audience. That's well, right. she can't get up at this time. They said she doesn't do well in the morning. Well, you know what? Neither do I, but I do it. I believe she's coming. Look, I, you know, I saw her 60 Minutes interview. That was a repeat, yeah. I know. It, but it was great. She's really good. Yeah, well, hey, we we're, we've been fans, so we said, "Come on up here, honey. Get in this, get in here, and talk to me." By the way, how interesting is it to see her with Gail King and hear that horse shit? Like, do something interesting. <laughs> well, she is. Lady she's Gaga's an interesting person. Yeah, but uh, you know, we can hear that, and she's performing. I love that. Let's uh, you know, do something interesting. Meet me. We'll get a different interview instead of the same kiss ass fucking lame interview. I mean, you know, Gail's a real nice woman. I met her, but she hasn't exactly lit the entertainment world on fire. Oprah gave her her own fucking show, and that you saw where that went. What, but we, we, we're here. We get the reject pile. 
We, we, we throw everybody. We can't even get Larry King when she hears that. <laughs> she's definitely unbooking herself. Larry King. Because <laughs> Larry doesn't want me to ask him about his marriage, I'm sure. Big deal. So deal with it. Well, there's a so lot. So your to... wife was fucking around. You know? Maybe still is. Who knows? Who knows? I don't Who know what's going on there. Come clean. We haven't seen her. Is she still alive? We haven't seen her since she went back. She has been quiet. Yeah. I like that Gail King is getting the big interview with Lady Gaga. Gail King is Oprah's Ronnie the limo driver. Oh, stop it. <laughs> well, she is. She's her best friend. Is Ronnie your best friend? Yeah, kind of. I mean, <laughs> well, who else no, do I hang around with? If that's the case, then, then Lady Gaga should do geek time. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's like Lady Gaga doing that Ralph show he does, whatever that is. <laughs> geek time. Geek time. Geek time. I think she is doing. <laughs> is she Lady Gaga's book for geek time? <laughs> All right. Uh, Mary Ann from Brooklyn, good morning. Welcome back, Howard. I love you. You know, Howard, I got an email on my account, like from Sirius XM, that Gail, Gail King was getting Gaga. It blew my mind, Howard, all week, and I'm so pissed. I can't believe it's such a... Slap in the face. I'm sick of all the powers that be. Who's in charge? Stop being seen? That's bullshit. All right. Look, we can't make we Gaga don't... go anywhere. Gaga's, Gaga's not goo goo for Howard. <laughs> Howard, you got the greatest fans. Fuck the guy. I like Gaga. Don't get me wrong, but there's no fans like the Howard fans, Howard. Thank we you, man. We are with you 24 7. What do you. Hello? Yeah, and start dressing like me. <laughs> what are we calling our fans? I mean, she's got the little monkey. Monsters. We're big monsters. <laughs> There's no question about it. Did you relax over the vacation? Yes, Did you stay I went home? to London. Oh. So you, what? you got That's on a, a plane. Bad thing? So you got on a plane again and you ran off somewhere. Yes, I wanted to just uh, get away. All right. That's a bad thing? Yeah. London's not a third world country. No, that's a big improvement. It's better than Peru. <laughs> the the uh, mattress was on a platform. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go. No, you love to go places. Sit home. I went to a bunch of theater. I had a lovely really? time. All right. Very nice. By yourself or with others? No, I was by myself. You do a lot of that. You like Yeah, that. but, uh, you know, I told you one of my dearest friends died. I just wanted to get away from everything. Did you reflect on your friend? Did you think about your friend? She was on my mind, yes. Right. You had traveled with your friend, so That's therefore. right. And I was, you know, we. Ne she always wanted to go to London with me. We never did that. And then what do you do? Do you take most of your meals in your room, or do you um, do you go out to uh, restaurants? It depends on how I feel on any, any given day. I and might go, go to a restaurant. I had a, oh, I went to an Indian restaurant, had one of the greatest salads I have ever had. And what do you do? You sit there by yourself, and you stare at the wall. I bring reading material with me. <laughs> That's what I would do. I, oh you know, I told God. you, I go to the theater, so I have all these programs. I have lots of things. I sort of study the theater when do I'm Do the there. British people look and go, oh, look at that poor girl. She has no one to have dinner. I have no idea what they're saying since I'm not involved with them. Look at that poor girl. <laughs> Maybe I go over and say hello. Why would anybody be looking at me? I would hope they'd be having their own meal. I don't know. I always look at the person sitting by themselves. I'm like, oh. Well, I don't care what other people are thinking, actually. I do. I didn't want to be with anybody. I can't sit in a restaurant by myself and eat. I love it. Well, you don't love it that much. You're bringing reading materials. No, but I would do that if I was in my room. It would be the way I was doing my meal there, Don't too. you think sitting and reading is taking away from the meal? You're not really concentrating on the meal? No, because I put the book down when the meal comes. You do? Yes. And then you sit there and eat? And, and I then... concentrate on the meal. And where do you look? At my food. Oh, you stare at the food the whole time. You don't look at the people in the restaurant? No, I look at there was a couple <laughs> sitting across there. I looked at them. There was a, you saw um, them. two women sitting next to me. I Did looked you at, smile them. at them. There was a big table sitting over there. I might have words with them. I might not. Did you have words with them? No, not that particular day. What type of words would you have with a strange table of people? It depends if something comes up to talk about. Hello, ma'am. I had a conversation with the waiter. He came over and asked me where I was from. And, mm. and he, he asked you out? No. Anybody of those British guys ask you out? I told you. I went there to be alone. I really yeah, wasn't interacting with people to that great You were great sending degree. out the, uh, negative vibes. I was just wanting to be alone, and yeah. I'm pushing everyone away. So you ate, and then you stared at your plate, and then sometimes you looked up and looked at the other table. I didn't stare at my plate. Like I said, I, I do <laughs> like a, what you like do. A prisoner. I looked around. It was a beautiful restaurant. It had windows, uh, you know, looking out on the street. I wouldn't leave my room. I would just sit there, <laughs> and I would order the room service. That's so ridiculous. Yeah. And then I go to the theater. What? I'm not going to. That's why I go. Mm. Brave woman. Brave? Yep. 
It's what everybody else is doing. Not what I'm doing. I but if I'm it. in a restaurant, there are other people there. I hate to be by myself anywhere. But you're not. There are other people there. No. I'm by myself and there with other people. No. Everybody's there. No. No. There's tremendous shame in that. There's no shame in anything. You came into this world alone. No, I didn't. And you're going out alone. No. Nobody's going with you. No, they're going with me. <laughs> You'll see. You're one of them. <laughs> wow, good for you, Robin.